Hello and welcome to another episode of WMT Reviews. I am Wise Man Tanofsky, and today we're continuing with the Eleven Doctors series with this, the Seventh Doctor. Now we'll get the fluff out of the way nice and quickly. The Seventh Doctor was portrayed by Sylvester McCoy, and his series ran from 1987 to 1989. Although technically it did span over the wilderness years as well until the 1996 movie in which he regenerated. His series opened with the episode Time and the Rani and ended again either with the episode Survival or with the opening of the 1996 movie. And his personality was one of contradictions. He goes out of his way to maintain his secrecy but will happily show random people around the TARDIS. He's a man who will contemplate the deep consequences of having sugar in his tea but will then trick his enemies into blowing themselves to smithereens. It's very one way or the other, this guy. We have a quick look at the head sculpt here. It's, again, nothing to shout about. It's very nice. I don't think there's enough detail in there at all. And he's missing his trademark hat as well. He did wear a hat, and it's just not here. Come down to the attire here, and again, he's wearing this brown jacket, which I think this is the jacket colour that the fourth Doctor should have been wearing, and he should be wearing the colour that the fourth Doctor was wearing, because he wore a sort of light grey suit. Now, everything beneath the jacket is perfect. The, the question mark jumper, the tie and the shirt, and everything is perfect. It's just I wish he had his grey suit on with a little grey hat. Come to the side here, there's a little handkerchief hanging out of his pocket. It's all very thrown together and very rustic, but it's very very reminiscent of the second Doctor's outfit, even down to the chequered trousers. In terms of accessories, the seventh Doctor is supplied with his umbrella with the question mark top, and it's moulded in the same flimsy rubbery plastic as the sonic screwdrivers, and I think that was a bit of a mistake, because it makes for a very cheap accessory, and it doesn't quite sit in his hand. You're supposed to place it about here, at the, at the, uh, the joint in between the two, but it's very, very loose, and it will just randomly fall out at times. So occasionally you have to push it down to there, and it'll sit quite comfortably. Or, as I had it a moment ago, you can, with a bit of convincing, hang it on the side of his hand. And it's a very, it's a very cool accessory. I just wish it was a bit more, you know, a bit better quality plastic, because it, it all bends and curves and gets in the way. Now, in terms of posability, there's nothing special, really. There's no real posability at all in the head. The shoulders, again, will go all the way round, swivel in the bicep, bend in the elbow, twist in the wrist. You, you get the idea from previous instalments. The legs will go forwards, but not very back. They will bend at the knee very nicely. There's a swivel at the thigh on this figure. It does work. And then, no posability in the feet. Overall, this is a great figure, but I do think it is missing the grey coat and hat combination. This sort of brown jacket that he's wearing is nice, but it doesn't feel like the Seventh Doctor to me. It feels a lot more like his brief appearance at the start of the movie, rather than being a figure of how he looks during his series. And for that, I think, simply because the umbrella is a fantastic accessory for him. I will rank him as a 7 on the All Summer. He is a very nice figure. There's one or two tiny gripes, but overall, it's a good figure. So a 7 on the All Summer for the 7th Doctor. How do you like that? I've been Wise Man Tanofsky. This has been WMT Reviews. Thank you very much for watching.